Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to a Fifi Lotz. Thank you for your continued support. And forgive me if I mispronounce any of that. But I want to dive into this reminder. Okay? This reminder because this is huge. We are approaching that season again, you all. Yes, we're approaching that season where narcs are looking for their winter snuggle bunny. Okay, never forget that. Okay, we are in that season now where, you know, the summer's coming to a close. More survivors are being discarded. Snakes are lining up, looking to line up. Winter snuggle bunny. Okay, I'm, you know, when God revealed that to us, it's so important to remember a couple times a year that we'll see the ramping up of love bombing. From narcissistic abusers. And that's what's happening. Usually, you know, at the end of the winter, begin, you know, going into the spring. And then at the end of the summer, going into the fall. I never forget that. I mean, they're out there looking for supply all the time. But I'm just saying that there's a ramp up. A couple times a year. Because now they're done with their summer fun snuggle bunny. Who are in the discard phase or being discarded. Unfortunately, and we're here for them. Okay, we're here for them. So let's pray, y'all. Let's pray for them. All right, to the Heavenly Father, that these newly awakened survivors who are true believers, that this stuff comes across their path to help them, that consulting fight and awareness comes across their path to help them get through this. Because they don't have to go it alone. Y'all don't have to go through this alone. You're not alone. Okay? So we understand that. And so this is why it's so important to remember. And so now, with that going on, that means they're trying to line up their winter snuggle bunny. Okay? So be on the lookout. Alright? You know, I mean, not, don't be expecting this to happen, but be on the lookout okay, if it does. Alright? Because for a lot of us, it, it, it used to. But for many of us, it doesn't work anymore. So hang tight. For those of you who haven't yet to learn the lesson, continue, okay? You will learn the lesson. So watch out for snakes from the past, okay? Remember, I did a video quite a while ago about reasons why, okay? One, he wants to see, the enemy wants to see if we're still unaware. Number two, wants to see if he can trick us into going and living in the past. Right, so we don't want to let the enemy trip us up. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, so snakes from the path. Yep, be mindful, sober, aware, vigilant. Okay? And so we got to not let the snakes from the path back in. Because, again, what are, they, what are they out to do? Steal, kill, and destroy. Or try to. We learn not to let them anymore. Because that's huge. So I had to get that reminder in here. Because we are at that time of year. Okay. And you know. Yes. Because this this video. The July 21st of 2023. To help y'all put it in perspective. In case you catch this one. Let's say. In November or December. This what I'm talking about, we're in the season. This video was recorded July 21st of 2023. Okay, ending of getting into the ending of the summer, into the fall. Okay, about that time that these narcs are going to be a bit, let's just say, heavier on the love bombing and trying to trauma bond. Winter snuggle bunny. Okay, so if you got a snake from the path coming, you know, trying to trying to Hoover or whatever, or a new snake for that matter, watch out for that. All right, don't fall for the love bomb. Okay, remember we've got you <laughs> just say no to the trauma bond. I will share it with y'all. This is so hilarious. Again, every time I wear this or the hoodie, just say no to the trauma bond, and Narcs try it anyway. <laughs> Just like, okay. Yeah, not gonna work. 
All right, there you go. All right, and so it doesn't matter how they try; it it doesn't work. No, because after all, we have a good understanding of what was happening in the body and the brain in the trauma bonding process, so we can sense it. You know, that's why we put that course together, how the trauma bond is formed for you all. Because if we understand, it's just like a drug addiction. And we don't let ourselves get addicted to anybody else ever again. We're not going to get addicted to people and things. Ha, 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 ha. Because 1 Timothy 6, 7, God tells us, didn't bring anything into this world. Surely we can't take anything out. All right. So there you go. <laughs> no reason for us to be addicted. Sure, God knows we're going to need things to do His perfect will while on this earth. Absolutely. But we don't need to be trauma bonded to it. Okay? Remember, the trauma bond is an unhealthy attachment. Okay? To people and things. And so we, we learn that. And we start breaking the trauma bond to the individual abuser. And we can break the trauma bond to the world. And realize that the world is a stage. And that a lot of the stuff out there is an illusion. That's why we got to have that discernment. Okay, you all? Seriously. That discernment is so important to be able to catch this stuff. That's right. And it's been there all the whole time. You know, that's the, that is the most eye-opening part about the spiritual awakening right there. When we realize that, wow, all this stuff's been here the whole time. We just didn't see it yet. God knew that. And so far, God awakened us when he did. So that, that's right, we can get our purpose. And so we don't miss these things anymore. Because it's all the same stuff over and over again, though, too. Maybe done a little bit differently, a different flavor here and there. But, yeah, we start breaking those trauma bonds. And we realize, oh, okay. All right, there you go. You know, we don't allow ourselves to be trauma bonded anymore. And so... Yeah, it's, it's crazy, though. It, it really is, because I, I find the, the comedy in it. You know? And then, at the same time, I can walk in somewhere, and a snake, you know, watch out for this, for whoever needs this reminder. You walk in somewhere, and somebody's looking at you, and they've got those toddler dancing eyes. Okay, that's not light. No, 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 no. Don't let that trick you. They got those toddler dancing eyes while they're looking at you. Uh-huh, until you look back at them, because what they're doing is they're thinking that you they don't know yet because you got your empathy off, right? So they can't get a read on you, but they see you are anointing. And so they got the toddler dancing eyes thinking that you might be a potential target or for, for some good supply. And then you, you look at them. And let's say you're wearing a shirt that says, just say no to the trauma bond. Immediately, their expression changes. Oh yeah, immediately. The smile just gets wiped off their face. And you might also notice, okay, that they got those... And this is both for female and male narcs. Both do this. They have those toddler dancing eyes. They're looking at you, okay? They think they found themselves fresh supply. Or a potential target. And then we look at them. They read. Just say no to the trauma bond. Quickly turn the other way. That lets us know they know. Alright you all. Maybe the human host doesn't know. What the trauma bond is. But the demon spirit. Certainly know what the trauma bond is. Absolutely. Alright so for those who are at that season. Trying to break the trauma bond. We've got a playlist on the channel. All about that. Called breaking the trauma bond. Breaking trauma bonds. Okay. And there's a whole playlist of videos. Where we talk about all of that. You know. We explain. We break it down a little bit. Got one of them where I talk about. How it was that dopamine. You know. The love bomb and devalue. Okay. How it played on the dopamine. And the adrenaline. Nor epinephrine. Okay. And then we go deeper. Okay. In its simplicity. Okay, we elaborate a bit more on that in the course, how the trauma bond is formed. Because those are the, like the two key players in the trauma bonding process. Absolutely. Because it's the manipulation of the brain chemistry, right, that gets people addicted to people and things. The manipulation of the brain chemistry. So once we understand that's what was happening, 
and then we know we have control over our own emotion, we learn that we've got the power within us that we don't let them manipulate our brain chemistry. I, 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 I no more. We don't fall for it. No. We don't fall for it. Oh, the enemy will try. He'll try to be sneaky with it. Uh-huh. Yeah, he'll try to be sneaky with it, with a love bomb. Sometimes. And then sometimes he does it in, in big, obvious ways. Excessive flattery and things like that. Trying to see if that will puff up our ego. And we're like, mm, no, we can spot when they're trying to do that. And we, we stop it and it distracts. We don't, it doesn't work. We don't let it. And that's the thing. We don't internalize that. Somebody throws a love bomb our way, we don't internalize it. Because there's no need. No need at all. Okay, for us to internalize any of that. Because the, with the Godhead within, what do we say often? That's right. God is the only validation that we need. Because that's it. We don't need... We don't, we don't. No, we're not dependent on validation from external stuff anymore. We don't need it. We know, Once you know who you are in Christ, you can be your authentic self. You don't need none of that anymore. And so we, we just like, okay, seriously? Yeah. We, yeah, we don't need that anymore. And so we continue to go forward. And get into our purpose. Those of us who are in the purpose know what I'm talking about. It's quite a journey. But it's a fun one. To discover it. Because when you realize so God awakened us to and from all that abuse. right? We've got a higher calling on our lives. So then we get to that season where what is that calling? And then once we discover it, you fall in love with it. I've said that before. It's so true. You fall in love with it. Because you know that you're doing what God put in you to do. What he called you to do. To please God. Right? And that you you fall in love with your purpose. Okay? Because you've already fallen in love with the Godhead. Fallen in love with yourself. That's what we realized when the narcissistic abusers were mirroring us back to us. We basically just fell in love with ourselves. And then, in turn, we fell in love with Godhead. So, there you go. Of course you'll fall in love with your purpose. Because it's for you. And it's just to please the Godhead. That's the God Spirit and others as well. To do those things which are righteous. To help others heal and grow. Helping God and Jesus help you all heal and grow. Okay, you all? And so I just want to get on here and give you all those reminders. And for those who, who need it, stay vigilant, sober, and aware. And watch out for the snakes from the past and any new snakes. Okay, always watch out for that. Don't expect it, but when you spot it, okay? Because many of us get it in the DM over on Instagram and elsewhere. We get them. We spot them. We block them. Sometimes I turn them into a case study so I can bring y'all some new red flags if there are any or different variations thereof because that's what we do. Yep. They get turned into a case study. And I have said this before. That if there's narcs out there that don't want to be analyzed. And then don't want to be turned into a case study. Best to stay away from, from consulting for heightened awareness. Because that's what we're going to do. <laughs> that's part of our calling. Alright you all. Cause to expose the wickedness. Just the behaviors. As always if you've got any questions. You know where to reach me. For additional information, insight and other good stuff. You can check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching, listening, and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.